What's up everybody, I'm Alex at GeneralGeibel.com Today we're gonna walk through my latest sample pack creation, the Ultimate Hardcore Kick Volume 1. Already in January I started the sample pack, but a lot of things came in between, but I kept working on and off on it, and finally it's there. For those who are familiar with the Ultimate Raw Style Kick Volume 1 and Volume 2, they will probably find a lot of familiar things. The concept is the same, the sounds are different. I would say let's just have a look in what is included, hear a couple of sounds, and you can see for yourself if that is something you need or you don't need. Okay, here you see my screen, this is what you get after you bought that pack on my side and you unzipped it. Unlike like in the other walkthrough videos, I'm not gonna go step by step, I go by importance. Or at least what I would consider more important. So, let's go right away into the hardcore kicks. As you can see, you got 60 hardcore kicks. Basically, those kicks ranging from the root note E to A and each root node has 10 kicks and they sound something like that As you can hear, I try to make a lot of variety. It's easy to blend them, to fade them, to cross them. Uh, you can use the full kick as it is. You can get creative, do a little bit more. You can put like a shit ton of more distortion or make like that crappy sound, which is very popular. That's really up to you. But like I said, they are very different from each other. I really try to bring a lot of variety. It's not like some hard style packs where you got like 100 kicks, but it's basically the same kick on different keys. Then I also added 10 peep kicks. They seem to be very popular. For me it was very interesting just to play around and to find out a couple of techniques and I found out a lot of techniques. So maybe you stay tuned on the channel if you're interested in seeing how to make those. Um, I found a couple of different techniques. By no means I'm like a peep kick expert but since they are very popular I definitely make sure I include a couple of them and you still got the possibilities on using just partial sounds maybe just cut out the attack and use a different tail or vice versa so a lot of possibilities there too you also should make sure you subscribe on my channel because I will make a couple of hands-on tutorials on that pack because with the raw style packs I kind of felt like a lot of people didn't really understand the full potential and didn't use them the way they intended to be used so I definitely gonna make sure I create a couple of tutorials to to give you some ideas on how you can use them properly. Anyway, let's hear a couple of the peep kicks. Gross. <laughs> Just kidding. So this is it about the peep kicks. Then, of course, as you guys are used already from the raw style packs, here as well I added a bunch of talks and a bunch of tails. Let's hear a couple of examples. As you can hear, the talks have already like a big reverb tail on it. That's kind of a common practice in raw style, but also lately in hardcore. If you don't want to have that, just cut it out at your own. Uh, that way you still got a little bit of stereo feel on your talk, but you can still add your own reverb or you just simply cut it out completely. So that's the reason why it's in there, because it's still very flexible. Uh, then we got also the tails. The good thing about the tails is I made sure they are as close to the root note as possible. We all know it's not always possible because we work with weird pitch envelopes, but also with filters and distortion and stuff, but still I tuned them to the max. Basically you can just toss them in your DAW, uh, toss a couple of them over each other, put them visually aligned so they're in face and they will sound awesome. And even if you take a tail from G sharp and you pitch it down to F and mix it with an F, tail they will still be pretty much in phase so this is a good thing again stay tuned on the channel i will definitely make sure i make some tutorials on that so you definitely see more a hands-on approach on the use of those sounds as next i added hundreds hundreds of effects kicks you know, those are the filtered kicks with crazy distortion which you throw in between. You can use them to make your kick patterns more interesting, but you can also use them for layers. You can even toss them in a sampler and use them as synthesizers. Some of them are working really great for that too. So that's how they sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
a shit ton of possibilities there. All those effects kicks been produced on 180 BPM. Each of them is exactly one beat long on 180 BPM. If you want to use them on a slower tempo, you should time stretch them. If you want to use them on a faster tempo, just don't mind just cut out the end and you'll be fine. The same thing also applies to the hardcore kicks. I made sure I kept the tails as long as possible, but originally they've been all produced on 180 BPM. Obviously you can play them way faster. If you want to play them slower, you got to check out if the tail is long enough. The peep kicks been produced on 200 BPM originally, but the tails mostly are very long, so you can definitely, on some of them, you can even go down to 160. Then I added also the clean kicks. That's what I've done on the Ultimate Raw Style Kick Volume 1. Basically, those are the kicks which I used as a source to do further processing, create interesting layers and... Yeah, just make the whole pack, basically. You will hear some pretty common kicks, which sound kind of 909-ish, and you will hear also some weird kicks. So let's have a look into them. So this is already kind of an old school kick, ready to go. Here, this kick E3. This is a weird kick, it has like some frequency modulation on the talk. Those getting really interested. Just try it for yourself, toss that kick in your DAW and put a lot of distortion on it. And you will get like really interesting sounds. Maybe not your finished kick, but you will create some super interesting characters, which you can then use with the talks and tails to create like an amazing new and original kick. Uh, let's uh, hear a couple of more of the clean kicks. So like I said, very interesting stuff just to get started because you got already the right key and you got already a clean kick which you know will work. I know a lot of guys use a drama zone or just a 909 sample and we all know that works. But sometimes having like a little bit of different harmonics, a little bit of different stuff, a little bit of dirt in the original kick will lead to completely different results on the same chain. So just play around with that. Don't miss out on that. And obviously you can also use those clean kicks to layer them underneath your finished kick to give it a little bit more balls or punch or whatever you want. So it's always nice to have a good collection of those with the according key because sometimes you find a lot of kicks where the keys are not named and uh, you have to use your ears and i know not everybody is capable of doing that so i make your life easier then you find the bonus folder basically i made eight drops with uh, using the different kicks and adding some more sounds uh, just for the demo but of course i added them also in so in every folder you find the individual stems and you find also a mixed and a mastered version so this is kind of the first kit the master sound a little bit louder and you find also the individual sounds. By the way, this is one of the effects kicks in a sampler. Yeah, you find eight of them. You know, you can use them for whatever you want. Uh, play around also, you know, just get inspired maybe from the kick patterns and stuff. Because, you know, they're all different kick patterns. <laughs> Yeah, you got screeches and shit like that. Make sure you check them out. Definitely gonna find some interesting shit. Again, here you can cut out a screech, put some reverb on, put it in a sampler and make your own screech pattern and stuff. Just get inspired. You can just load up the stamps and just see what has been done and maybe get inspired from that. So uh, it's, it's a nice bonus. It's not a selling point of the pack by no means, but it's a nice bonus. Then you find the full demo. No need to go into detail with that. You find the content and the end user license agreement it's recommended to read the end user license agreement uh, there's a lot of weird stuff happening with my sounds lately and a couple of lawsuits are already on the way you can use those sounds in the musical context as much as you want uh, but you can't use them by themselves only only one sound put it by itself without anything else adding to it you can't redistribute 
mute it, you can't share it with others, which makes absolutely sense because uh, that's basically stealing. But using them on your tracks, go ahead. You don't need to get any permission. You don't need to do anything. Just use them sounds, put your own sounds on top, mix them up with others. Just don't put them by itself. Just don't make like a one kick shot somewhere. That's not allowed. Now I want to talk about a point that I forgot to address when I recorded that video. So this is kind of an additional recording. A while ago, one of you guys reached out to me and he had some problem. He bought some pack somewhere and used one of the kicks and this kick ended up being stolen and he got called out by the original artist. Luckily, this was all done privately, so there was no harm made to him. But there are shady companies just stealing kicks from tracks and putting them in their packs and you're gonna end up using them and you're gonna get the whole shitstorm. Therefore, on this pack, we really made sure we got every single chain. We got everything we've done in this pack. We can trace it back. We got every single sound. In case you get some problems, you get called out, you definitely can prove that it's something you are allowed to use and you don't get any shit from anybody because we can prove that every kick is made from scratch. And therefore, you don't need to be afraid about anything. Stay away from those shady pack makers. If they never shown on a tutorial on a video on a live stream that they are capable of making a kick from scratch there is always a little chance that they might use some shady techniques sampling others using kicks from other sample packs tweaking them up and really re-releasing them obviously those companies are liable for that but if something like that happens to you and shit gets public it can really ruin your career before it really started like on every other pack we made everything from scratch but after we heard that story on this particular pack we really set up a system so we really got every single fucking chain everything saved every sound we made in a different session it all ended up in the same folder so we can trace back every single sound every single thing we made and we can trace back every chain we made everything you use from here you're not liable for that we are and we are not liable because we did everything right and we definitely didn't violate anybody's rights on that and as last I added a couple of simple uh, tutorials or explanation videos. Like I said, with the Ultimate Raw Style Kick Packs, I had the feeling not everybody is using them to the full potential. The feedback been great so far. Don't trust what you read on the internet. Only because 10 idiots say I rather make my own crappy kicks uh, doesn't mean it applies to everybody. There are big names who are buying that packs. There are small names. There are names which I never heard. Uh, but by a long shot, those packs are very popular and therefore, um, you know, I wanted to give another incentive to use them properly. Those little videos just give you some tips how to use them, give you some ideas. But like I said, stay tuned to that channel and I'm gonna make a couple of more videos just to really show the full potential of that pack. Anyway, this is the full pack and that pack is now available on generalgeibel.com. So if that's something for you, definitely make sure you check it out. Definitely make sure you buy it. And if you buy it and you like it, I would be more than happy to get a review from you. You can do it on my site, very easy. And it's always nice because other producers might see there is a value in that and you might be very helpful to the overall community as well. Thanks for that. Like I said, generalgeibel.com. Check it out and have much fun with that pack. Bye bye.